Imagine on one cold winter day you are riding your motorcycle and heading back home. You are thinking about how you will have pizza with your kids while watching the football match. You cannot wait to get back home. So, you start speeding. But somehow you could not turn around the corner and ended up flying off your motorcycle. Your skin skidded across the road. You get a hole all the way into your mouth. You land in a ditch and your head hits the concrete. And whether you survive or not, who knows. This story isn't unique. It happens to a lot of people. Deaths due to road accidents have been increasing day by day in India. And the top reasons for such bike accidents include distracted driving, drunk driving, speeding and rain. And this isn't a problem that's there only in India. Similar trends have been observed in other parts of the world as well. And in the USA, there has been an increase in such accidents. And it becomes our responsibility to do something about it and start a revolution. So what can we do? Introducing SaveMet. SaveMet provides Bluetooth connectivity with speakers inside the helmet, which facilitate easy communication and can help when one is using navigation. Touch sensors on the right side of the helmet can be used to connect and disconnect calls. When the helmet is hit with a specific amount of force, a pop-up box appears on the phone connected to the helmet, which allows users to cancel it if it's a false negative. But after 10 seconds, if the pop-up box is not cancelled, then a message is sent to your emergency contacts about the chances of an accident and the live location is sent to those contacts. If in case the phone is destroyed in the accident, it won't give the live location, but will provide the last known location to the emergency contacts. For safety measures, users also have a pre-recorded message that they can send to their emergency contacts if they feel that they are in danger or they are being followed by any suspicious people. All of these above tasks are managed easily in one user-friendly app. Our revenue model works on a subscription method where we provide 3 months of free tests for the app but after 3 months a nominal fee will be taken for providing these services. Our current plans include the 1 month plan for $20, 3 month plan for $40, 6 month plan for $70. Our current market consists of beginners including those people who are in their learning phase and family persons as they are more vulnerable to accidents and their deaths can be very detrimental in others life. Tier 1 of our consumers include people who have recently gotten their two-wheelers and are still susceptible to accidents. The success of our product with our current market will work as an incentive for them to buy our helmet. Tier 2 aims to cover expert bikers and experienced drivers. SaveMet would help in enhancing their driving experience by reducing accident risks and providing added features, thereby incentivizing them to purchase our product. Tier 3 will reach out to those people who tend to avoid two-wheelers due to the dangers that come attached with it. By providing additional safety, more and more people will switch to two-wheelers like bikes. As a company that would be dealing with delicate situations, we strive to cut middle management as much as possible while also maintaining a professional relationship with our employees and consumers. We would also have clear strategies and goals so as to reduce mismanagement and miscommunication in our firm. Our Blue Ocean idea came from the lack of technology that could have been used to prevent deaths after accidents. Since accidents cannot be prevented at all times, a post-accident solution was the need of the hour. Therefore, we chose to bring to you SaveMet with the SOS system for the safety and well-being of your loved ones. Our firm has multiple future plans. We would like to partner with motorcycle companies and cycle companies where we provide our helmets with their motorcycles and cycles. We also plan to launch similar apps where we can collaborate with healthcare centers and ambulance providers where any victim in the accident, if conscious, can send a distress call to these centers. Also, patients can send a message regarding their medicines or call an ambulance in case of an emergency. With the press of one button, every healthcare centre in a 5-mile radius will receive that distress call. 